guys my friend welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today i will be showing you how to make grenadian ground nut sugar cake now if you're interested keep watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and your post the notification bell so you don't miss each time i upload also don't forget to comment below let us know how you come from your country and how you make it now let's get into this video here i have some peanut and i am not going to use all of it i'm just going to use about half of it so we are going to prep it first by patching the nuts now if the option is available to buy it um, pre-patched or patched already sorry as you see then you can go right ahead and do that to a baking sheet i'm just adding in some of that peanuts and i will leave a link in the description box below with the correct measurements and the ingredients that i used next i'm just going to spread it across the pan so it's evenly distributed and we are going to place it into a preheated oven at 300 degrees so that it patches. I think I left it there for roughly two hours or so. So once it's done, I will remove it as you can see here. It is done. And uh, of course it's extremely hot so we're going to allow it to cool before we remove the shells. Now patching the peanuts actually helps also with the easy removal of the skin so while that is cooling we are going to move on to the other ingredients here i have some ginger and i am going to be peeling it and i did wash it and everything already just to peel and um, grate all right so i will go ahead and do that and come back so initially i was going to use this amount of ginger but then i decided to use a little bit more so i'm just going to go ahead and grate the ginger now with this recipe you can add as much ginger as you like or as little as you like. So this is what the ginger looks like and as I said I am using a lot of ginger today. I like mine to be very gingery. <laughs> also we will be needing some sugar and I am using white today but brown can be used as well. And we also need some water. So we are going to set that aside and check on our nuts. So it is ready. And I am just simply just using my hands to rub it a bit to get rid of the shells more easily and I will continue to do that and once it's done I will come back to show you comment below also if you would have made brown nut sugar cake before and let me know what was your experience and if you did it differently so this is what it looks like all done as you can see here it's clean and of course you want to look out for those extra shells that may be in between so you want to give it another go so i just place it back onto the pan and i'm going to, just going to sorry sift through it a little bit to see if there was any extra shells in between and there were and then i'm going to set that aside and move on to my skillet which is on medium high heat i am adding in the sugar because we are going to make the syrup that will go over the peanut next i'm adding in the water followed by our ginger and as i said you can add less or more depending on your taste buds and once i add that in i'm just going to give it a quick whisk or stir and then i am going to allow it to come to a boil and once it comes to a boil i will come back to show you the next step so now that it's boiling, I'm going to continue to stir just to ensure that all the sugar is melted. And then we are going to reduce the heat. So we're going to reduce the heat and allow it to um, simmer for a few minutes. I will, as I said, leave the link in the description box below that will give you all of these details. So once it's finished, I will come back to show you. So this is what it looks like and it's actually ready. As you can see here, it has thickened some and of course it's time for us to remove it from the heat so i'm going to take it off the heat and quickly work with it in terms of pouring it over the peanuts simply because it tends to get hard really fast so once i would have added the syrup over the peanuts i am going to quickly stir it until everything is well combined or all the peanuts are coated in that wonderful delicious syrup in this case it's ginger syrup <laughs> All right, so once that is done, I'm next going to pour it onto a pan. Now, I forgot to take out a smaller pan, y'all. So I'm just going to use the pan that I had that was closest to me for this occasion. All right, 
So I'm just going to place it onto the uh, the pan. I'm just using half of the pan. I'm going to spread it out a little bit so that when it dries, I am I can easily break it apart into smaller particles or smaller pieces, as you say, smaller pieces. Yes. All right. So I'm just patting it in there, and of course, I also want to mention that you will see with some pieces of the ginger, simply because I did allow some of that ginger um, to stay a little bit on the bigger side. So here it is, after I would have placed it on to the baking dish, I will allow it to cool completely so that it sets and then I will come back to show you what it looks like. So after a while, this is what it looks like. It's nice and set. And next, as you can see, sorry, before you go ahead, <laughs> there are bits and pieces of the ginger that I did mention earlier. And next, it's time to break it apart. Now I did start it off by using my knife, but I was like, hmm, no, I can simply just break it off. <laughs> but anywho, this is what it looks like up close and personal. You can see bits and pieces of the ginger and the sugar. And of course, our peanuts are there. And so I will continue to break them up smaller and come back with the final uh, plating. So this is your ground nut sugar cake Grenadian style. I really do hope that you did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to comment below and let us know what you think. Also, let us know if you would have made it before, how you did yours as well as let us know what you call it in your country all right until the next time see you in the next video i also forgot to mention that this is actually the perfect snack for your outing family outing like picnics or if you just want to snack um, on something after breakfast not breakfast sorry after lunch or after dinner and even to share with your family and friends so i really do hope that you enjoy bye